We're on the Richard Attenborough stage. Yes, yeah, so we snuck underneath the truck. We're on a boat. Yep. But not in real life. We're pretending. Yep. We need to get on that boat. Hold on! We have our T-Rex that can be puppeteered from below and from the back. And so those scenes were built specifically to be able to use animatronics in a way that we couldn't in the first Jurassic World. We knew that Bryce had to climb on board. And it weighs tons, and it has a huge amount of power and aggression. And so we also don't want to injure her. So there is a soft section in the middle of the neck, which is designed almost like a sort of saddle. She can hold the T-Rex. Good job. You're making this look totally normal. So there's about eight puppeteers. There's a person at the back that does the lifting of the entire body. There's a person, uh, or two, which operate the main neck. The head is controlled through a radio control system. There's another puppeteer who's looking after the eyes, the eye blinks. Another one that's looking after the breathing and the nostrils. And then one other person who's looking after the jaw. I've been able to ride on the back of a T-Rex. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a T-Rex. No big deal. Just, you know, riding on a T-Rex. The T-Rex is never going to lose its bite. <laughs> that would be impossible.